Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester and today we're being a vegan rice essential oil spray you can use for your mask but also for pillows or anywhere else you like a little bit of nice fragrance. I was working with my friend Annie the other day and we were inside, we had our face masks on the whole day and every now and then I saw her spritz her mask with this little bottle and asked what she was doing and she said she makes these essential oil sprays she uses in her mask, just a little pick me up throughout the day because sometimes we have a mask on all day it just gets a bit stuffy and she said she makes them and she also used them on as a pillow spray for her children and just as little pick me up throughout the day and I asked if I could try it and it was lovely it was so nice to have this burst of fragrance like right there in your face and then I asked her if she could show me how she made them and she gave me her recipe and she generously also told me I could share with you guys so today we're gonna make an essential oil spray that's really lovely in your face mask you will need witch hazel, some distilled water, essential oils, and I just use whatever I could find in my cupboard. You need something to mix it in and a little stirrer, some brown glass spray bottles, a measuring cup or spoon, and if you have it, a little funnel. So I'm going to start with distilled water. I need two thirds water to one third witch hazel. And I just grabbed a measuring spoon out of my kitchen, which is a tablespoon measure. So I'm going to use two of these. And then they're going to add one measure of witch hazel. Witch hazel is the carrier oil that's going to make sure all our essential oils emulsify. And then you need 20 drops of your favorite essential oil. You can use anything you like. Just make sure they're 100% pure oil. You can use geranium, lavender, mint, eucalyptus, whatever you think is nice and also which effect you want to achieve with your aromatic oil. I looked at my cupboard and I had these two of my favorite Avida oils, which is an energizing one, and my absolute favorite is Champure one. And I also have the Niels Yards one. This is a focus and I have a calming one. I'm just going to make my spray with my all-time favorite oil, which is the Shem Pure by Avida. And I'm going to put 20 drops in. There we go. You could, of course, mix your oils together. So you have a little personalized mixture. I'm going to mix this in. And get my bottle. You want to have a brown glass bottle so sunlight doesn't affect your essential oils and let's carefully pour this in shall we fill it almost to the top put my little spray one in and that's it done yeah what you can do is you do a few squirts in your mask so you have a little bit of essential oil pick me up you can keep mixing different sprays and I just use what I had lying in the cupboards now but I think I might go and buy a geranium and a lavender essential oil because are the ones that Annie uses in her mask sprays and it smells delicious and a peppermint probably quite nice peppermint spray peppermint oil is very good when you've got headaches that are really good in a mask as well and for a, a pillow spray maybe just pure lavender would be lovely yeah so keep mixing up keep making different little bottles stick this in your bag and you have a nice bit of aroma therapy with you all day long if you enjoyed this video, please give it some love and have a look at all the other videos here on the Handmade Home channel. I have a video probably for everything in your home. I have playlists of IKEA hacks, big builds like wardrobes and tables, to smaller crafts like uh, little paper things or essential oil sprays, jewellery. Anything you like, I probably have it. So yeah, go have a look and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss out on any of my future videos. Big thank you to Annie for showing me how to make her little mask spray. And please tune in soon because I'll be back with a new video.